Talk of seemingly powerful presidents facing opposition when the world's most controversial president goes to play, can protesters be kept at bay? President Donald Trump is in Switzerland to attend the World Economic Forum in Davos, the playground of Europe's fashionable ski and spa set. Davos is in the throes of the tightest security in the world. Demonstrators have kept away, have been kept away from the venue rather, where the visiting president will sleep, talk and undoubtedly make more politically incor incorrect wisecracks. But the young and the restless never give up. Senior foreign editor Padma Rao takes a look at what goes down in the Alpine Republic. Switzerland has been awash with protests for days. Be it in Geneva, in the capital Bern, in Lausanne or in Freiburg, hundreds and thousands of angry people carrying placards and megaphones are telling the American president in Switzerland's three official languages, German, French and Italian, but also in alien tongues, that he is not welcome. The crowd is mostly young and much like American burgers and blue jeans, slamming the US president too has become a global fashion statement. Of course, demonstrators can always be appreciated as long as they have clear goals. But what are they? Is it Trump's shithole remark? Or is it Turkey's ongoing offensive on Syrian Kurds in Afrin? One poster in German speaks of resistance in Afrin. Another reads smash WEF, the World Economic Forum. The chanting, though, is in Kurdish against, quote unquote, Erdogan, the dictator. But what does the American president have to do with Turkey's battle against the Kurds in Afrin, or even its president Erdogan? I think we see anti-Trump protests everywhere. It is actually one of the reasons why Trump didn't go to England. He fears, and the British government fears, heavy protests against his venue. I think this is our turn to play our part. Now that he's coming here in Switzerland, this is our turn to be vigilant and to say that the model he is defending, well, it's not ours. The world saw similar scenes at the G20 summit in Hamburg last year. But Switzerland's police are doing everything they can to ensure that these protesters, decrying whatever is their biggest bugbear, do so without vandalizing property or hurting anyone. Many slogans being raised by them have nothing to do with the World Economic Forum. But for the young and the passionate, any occasion is good enough to get out on the streets and turn a gap fest of the rich and the powerful into a street festival, a carnival. President Trump will come and go, and when the snow has melted in the Alps, the sun will glitter on those beautiful mountains and lives will go on. Padma Rao, beyond.